Good morning. We survived yesterday, barely, but we did. And now it's glorious. It's like 75 degrees out. There's a nice light breeze. We're walking in this park in the Marais. And yeah. Fountain. There's also a fountain over there that has a scooter on top of it. I don't know how that happened or why, but it is. Um, and there's also pretty buildings. And it's just quiet and not hot. <laughs> That's the most important thing. We're at a cafe in Paris. We have our treats and we're gonna get our drinks in. I have an eclair and Kellen has some sort of bread with chocolate in yes. it. So Kellen and I just can't win when it comes to the weather. There was only like a five percent chance of rain today. Yeah. But here we are. At least we're safe under this thing. We didn't bring our umbrellas because there was only a five percent chance of rain and yesterday we nearly died of heat exhaustion. But yeah, we're gonna sit here under this canopy until it stops. We're getting lunch at Bistro Burger, which should be good. We're getting chicken burgers. I'm very excited to try them. It just opened like five minutes ago, and we have their only outdoor table. So, yeah. Well, today and not getting lost, but then we tried to find Oscar Wilde's tomb, and it took us a long time, but we finally found it by using Kellen's knowledge of titles and my GPS powers, which are not mine, my Kellen's. Um, we finally got here, which is not where we thought it was at first. We spent like 20 minutes looking in the other area, but here it is. Very dramatic, covered in glass because I guess. Helen said people were kissing it and yeah. it was weird. Yeah. And oh, it looks like they kissed it here. Yeah. <laughs> I have been the worst vlogger ever. <laughs> Kellen and I are currently back at Père Lachaise. I can't even remember if I vlogged here at all last time we were here. I don't think so. We I don't think so. No. Unless, no, I, you did vlog Oscar Wilde. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So today is our second to last day here. And I'm vlogging, and we're in a cemetery. And we'll see what else happens today, because we don't have a ton of plans. Except for, like, explore and enjoy the fact that it's not 107 degrees. I must know. Kellen just ran up here off the path and said, I found him! I think I found him! <laughs> I don't know who we found. She's Googling it to make sure it's the right person, and then maybe she will enlighten me as to who he is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Here lies Jean-Francois Champollion. So I have my terrible French pronunciation. <laughs> it is. It is him. The who dates is he? are right. Who is he? Okay, so he was the person that cracked the Rosetta Stone and figured out how to translate Egyptian hieroglyphics. Oh, cool. Hence the obelisk. Mm-hmm. And he was also just one of the first Egyptologists, primary Egyptologists. Did you hear that, Perry? <laughs> one of the first Egyptologists. I'm happy now. I wanted to find him, but I didn't want to bother trying to find him. After the whole Oscar Wilde so I'm very happy <laughs> event right the now. other day. <laughs> we found him. Good job. Champollion, or however you pronounce it, I don't really care. <laughs> Jean-Francois Champollion. Okay. Helen and I have reached another part. Yeah. Think, there is a bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge. I'm there's going one. across it. You can go across you it. Don't have I will. To. I will. If it benefits our continued exploration of the park, I will, but I will not stop in the middle. You can feel free to do whatever you want. That is fair. I'm so excited right now. We looked up like the best 20 free things to do in Paris, and this was one of them. I guess we're not the only people here today be a popular area and I can see why. You know, just in the middle of Paris. We're on the bridge. I'm being brave. I'm standing. It shakes, but I'm not a coward. We see birds and stuff. And we're almost across. See, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad at all. And there's that thing up there I want to go see. We reached the top. Almost. A few more steps. Quite a 
Sí, Again, I expected it to be a longer walk. Yeah. It didn't take very long. But it's quite the view. Yeah. Definitely approve. Hi. Kellen and I are alone in the metro station. Further down than any other metro station we've been into before. There's someone coming, they might murder us. It'll be it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We've got two minutes till the train shows up. Hello, I have decided we must film an end clip <laughs> to this vlog despite how terrible I've been at filming end clips because I was just editing all of the vlogs mm -hmm. and I realized I left on a terrible cliffhanger of whether or not Kellen and I were to be murdered in a creepy empty metro station we had never mm -hmm. been to before. I said she could have kept it that way. But... <laughs> yes, Kellen told me to keep the cliffhanger <laughs> ending but I didn't want I mean, I'm going to be home before I end up posting that, probably. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want people to think that I was murdered in a, in a so, metro station. Spoiler, we're fine. Yeah, we're alive. <laughs> I was very proud of us because we just saw a metro station. We were like, okay, let's go home. And we walked down into the metro mm -hmm. station and figured out how to get home to our Airbnb. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Without... Um, without referencing Google Maps. So we are impressive and <laughs> finally learning where we're going two days before we go home. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we've run into some issues. Uh, our uh, Airbnb apartment only has one, one garbage can. Yeah. And we've been, we, will, we have been here for six days so far and we'll be here for eight days, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is a bit of a problem, but we'll get through it. We ran out of dish soap, mm -hmm. but hand soap works for many things. Yes. <laughs> you already know that the, the clothes rack was interesting yes. and it didn't stand up on its own. Um, yeah, but it's not 107 degrees, and when it's not 107 degrees, there's really nothing to complain about. Everything is good. Life is good. Kellen <laughs> is tired, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, um, Kellen made me edit vlogs, <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> and now I get to talk to her about BTS, <laughs> so... That was good at motivating me because I have fallen so far behind and like looking through all the footage that I had and trying to put it together into cohesive videos <laughs> was not, this is not my greatest vlogging triumph, I'm just going to say, but hopefully it'll be enjoyable. I, I liked watching our one from when it was 107 degrees out because you could just see our slow descent into insanity <laughs> until Kellen unboxed her salad on, on the rug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we've survived a lot. We've learned mm -hmm. a lot. What was it that I just said we should call it? It could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been worse, Kellen. And I yeah. Adventures in Europe 2019. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Kellen opened the freezer, or opened the fridge, and the ice cream fell out of the freezer. Yeah. And the freezer doesn't work very well, so the ice cream is always in a semi-liquid state. So thankfully, we didn't lose too much of it. <laughs> It's really good ice cream. It's like yes. caramel pecan, and I'm just like rambling about stuff now. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. We will probably vlog tomorrow as it's our last full day in Paris. Oh my gosh. And soon I get to go home and hug my son. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and goodbye. We didn't die. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs>